But at this point, honestly, it's just a matter of getting my family on board. They need to remember that he really sacrificed a lot to marry me and to come here to America and start from scratch. So yesterday was fun. <laughs> Libby, you'd had no conversation of We had a conversation, but yeah. we didn't discuss Timing formally inviting people. anybody. But like, he's right. In order for her to be baptized, we have to be married in their church there. Do you guys have a venue? We have a date that we have in mind, but we don't have a venue booked yet. So we're we'll scrambling when there's nothing even booked yet. Great. It's another wedding planned last minute, but this time in Europe, expecting us all to just drop what we're doing. Our families, our businesses, just our babies. You'll be there or, you know, whatever. Trust me, I get it. I totally get it, which is why I was really angry with him. I mean, it's not giving you guys any time. It's not fair. It's not. I mean, half of my family doesn't even have passports. I'm not going to a country I've never even heard of and leaving my kids behind with, like, a babysitter. Well, it's not unsafe. I mean, actually, we wouldn't. I looked it up, and it's the scariest place on Earth to visit. What does that even mean, the scariest place? Everything's corrupt. The police are corrupt. It's very, very scary, the things that we're finding on the internet about this country. And just everything that's popping up makes us even more apprehensive. And like why would we want to go there? <laughs> they well, go Google after said that they tourists. hijack tourists and hold them for ransom money. Moldova well, is not dangerous at all. I understand that my sisters have concerns about like the timing and what are we gonna do with our children? Like, But then some of their comments that they're making are just ignorant. Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi, Jen Jen. Hey. I'm here hey. to join the baby fest. We're just talking about Moldova and the uh, plans. I think he did it so he could say that he invited us and then it was our fault that we didn't come. Hey. I think that he just wants to do this for his family. But I don't think that he's going about it the right way. Have you guys even put together a budget? He wants dad to pay for it. Oh my God. Of course he does. I knew that he was gonna ask dad to pay for it. When does he even plan on asking dad to pay for all this? He's planning on me asking dad to pay for all of this. Are you kidding me? Yes. So he's not even man enough to ask dad himself to pay for his Moldovan wedding? No, because he says you're his daughter. What a you, joke. you 